Vlogmas day five guys and I'm in the car as you can tell. I am um, headed toward uh, Michael's. I did an online uh, pick up in store type of thing and the pick up in store at my Michael's is outside. So I'm just gonna drive up, give them my order number, stand as far away from people as I can. <laughs> and, um, and then uh, come home. I normally would, um, I would normally, in the past, I, uh, I would take my, my mask with me in my purse, uh, but I have since learned to just put it on while I'm at home, because one time I went to Michael's, I was just walking around, this was weeks ago at this point before this crazy surge we got going on right now, uh, I was walking around with all my mask on and all those people were giving me looks but I didn't, I didn't get it and then finally it hit me that I didn't have my mask on so uh, now I just put it on at home <laughs> and then I can just pull it up so I know I look a little crazy and also I usually try to get on and when I get on I usually will put some makeup on but I noticed uh oh something's happening over there somebody uh Looks like somebody must have passed out at the uh, restaurant over there. There's an ambulance and all of that over there. And I can see the person on the gurney. So, Lord, bless them and keep them. Um, sorry for the jumping around. Hopefully you can hear me. But anyway, I am just on my way to Michael's. And um, that's it. Uh, oh, so yeah, put my mask on at home. It's been a, sort of a lazy day today. Uh, I've been crafting all day, and I'm, you know, and I've been a little bit tired, so I've been chilling. But I need to go get this order. Uh, oh, this is what I was gonna say. We just got a notification that the um, the uh, nursing home not nursing home the ICU capacity has dropped below uh can we walk in there okay no you're not walking in there okay uh has dropped below 15 percent and so now we we on an even more restricted uh stay at home order as of tomorrow at midnight now in a lot of ways it seems like it's just for show because there are so many exemptions that people can just still move about uh, their lives, which is why, you know, the cases keep going up. So, anyway, I'm going to lock it on down. So, I just want to go and grab this from Michael's, and then I'll just be it. And it's now, it was two weeks ago or a week ago, it was three weeks. Um, and so, that meant it was going to be over on the 20th, which is my birthday. Uh, not that I was going anywhere, but now they set the reset the clock to three weeks starting tomorrow, which means, if I understand it correctly, which means it's going to be all the way through the new year at this point. <sighs> so yeah, good gracious, I'm tired of it, but you know, what can you do? What can we do? All right, I am, um, Michael's is only like a short drive from my house and um, I'm gonna just hopefully grab my stuff and just go I don't really want to even be hanging around so hopefully nobody else is actually needing when I get there maybe they can help me as soon as I get there and then I'll go home I know what I was saying. <laughs> so I was trying to say, normally I would uh, put on some makeup uh, before I get on camera, but actually I noticed the last, and I'm really feeling it right now because of this mask, but I was noticing the last day or two or three that I felt a little itchy on my face. 
And then when I looked at my face as I was uh, washing it, I could see, uh, see I'm scratching, but I think that's uh, a little fine bumps all over. So I'm not sure what's going on one of these medicines. Uh, I just started having to take um, potassium. Um, so I don't know if that could be causing it, but I was called by the doctor one day last week. And he said that the potassium was low and they wanted to give me some, uh, a supplement, a prescription strength supplement. So, I don't know if that's it. But, uh, so I'm not going to put on any makeup. So, when you see me in front of the camera in a little bit, <laughs> when I'm back at home, I'm not going to have on any makeup and I won't have a mask either. So, you will see all of the flaws. Anyway, I'll see you guys after I get back from Michael's, okay? OMG, it's a line like crazy, but they got my stuff and brought it to me right away, so now I'm bathing in hand sanitizer, <laughs> and I'm going to go home. Wow, yeah, um, if, actually right now, uh, you know, there is no need to go in Michael's. Uh, when I felt more comfortable doing it, it was always best to just come um, on my lunch break because no one was here. The weekend is horrible. I mean, the line is stretching the parking lot, basically, because they can only let so many people in there at a time. All right, head it home. Okay, but all I got, um, I had a... Dang, this one jacked up. Is this one jacked up too? Okay, I had a buy online, pick up in store. Uh, no, I had a, a reward of $15. So I got two of these uh, impeccable loops and threads in the colorway, the pumpkin colorway, because I want to make the fox that looks like Cleto, and I didn't have a color that I wanted. And then I'm making a gnome. And so I just got uh, two of these Craft Smart white all 100% acrylic and I also added in a set of watercolor pencils and then a set of regular uh, color pencils so I think I'm going to be doing some rubber stamping and coloring with that and hopefully being able to put that in my December daily all right <sighs> going home so for all intents and purposes we supposed to be on a stay at home order right now <laughs> But, you know, these people, ain't nobody at home? I've been mostly at home. But I came to get this one thing. <laughs> and I guess that's what everybody is saying. I'm just going to get this one thing. But, you know, I'm, I'm Amazon freshen it. I'm not going to the grocery store as much as I want to right now. I don't even, you know, I just want to, I don't know. I want some things, but I'm going home, y'all. I'm not going to be out here with these people. 
doing whatever. All right. Hey guys, uh, I am back and let's get this done. So I'm back home from Michael's. All those people. Unbelievable. So today uh, I got uh, five things here on the table with me and I'm going to go through them and uh, keep this one short if I can. And then at the end, I'm going to hopefully put in some footage uh, with a tour of my smaller tree with a bunch more handmade, uh, let's see, handmade ornaments. All right. So let's get started with the, with the uh, December daily. Um, day five. I worked on that this morning. So you guys saw the day four yesterday. And this is day five. Because there's so much in day four, I try to keep day five as simple as possible. But let me just show you again. Day five has like a little, the green part is a pocket, a side pocket, and everything is slid in there. So the story that I told for day five is the story of our handmade ornaments. And um, you know what? Something just dawned on me this second. <laughs> so here are the two. Now, I, every year for the last, I don't know how many years, even way before I moved here, way before I um, was married, I would dabble in making ornaments and things every year. Not every year, but ever so often. Uh, but since my son has been born, I pretty much try to make uh, some kind of ornament every year. And some years I make more than others. Well, this year, the ones I'm going to... It's more than the, just these two. You've already seen some of the COVID ones that I've made. But the polymer clay um, kitty. And then the gingerbread guy, because I made two. One is a charm on the book. And the other is hanging on the smaller tree. So hopefully you can see the gingerbread guy and the kitty. And this is just, you know, matted on some uh, patterned paper, which is just one sided. I've got a little foam stickers uh, from Michael's in there. Another puffy sticker there. And then um, some uh, cute little... Words I've had for years, uh, Christmas words and phrases, and I just put deck the halls because, once again, this is about adorning the tree. So, that is that. Um, so many cute ornaments on that tree, and I am so glad that I found them because I love them. I made almost all of them, but there are some on the tree that were given to me. One, I did a swap with... Uh, Christy from T Dottles uh, had a little crafty swap last year. And so I think it was last year. So the sewn ornament that you will see, that is from that swap. And then I also have a little uh, granny square uh, Christmas stocking that I got from Angelia, who is the crocheting house mouse. So that is also featured on my tree. And then the, the area where I did my journaling, I just decorated the front of the tag. And what I just realized was this for day number five. It's a cat in a stocking. And I seriously did not realize. But look at that cat in a stocking. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. I did not realize that I had done that. And so anyway, I've done all my journaling on the back. And the quote for the day is he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. So ongoing theme of gratitude, guys. I want to share that with you. And oh, this piece, puffy sticker from Michael's. Also, a um, this is a sticker. Did I get this sticker from Michael's? can't remember but I actually laminated it and put it together with a glittery circle on the back I tried to make uh oh let me just confess I tried to make uh the what is it the altered 
paper clips and all of them pretty much fell apart so the hot glue did not work very well so I just turned it into a, an embellishment instead that I stuck on with some glue dots all right so that's it for that that's that page I kept it simple because the other page is so bulky and tomorrow we will be on to day six so which is a complete blank canvas let me show you it's a blank canvas this is day six so we'll see what we end up doing with that tomorrow um actually i already know what i'm doing with that uh so yeah that's the december daily now let me show you my mini from my uh advent calendar with christy this is uh day number five as you can see and oh how pretty oh how pretty is that look at how pretty this is this one is 22 percent wool and um let's see and the rest is acrylic but look at it love the color and if you could see these little sparkles I don't know if you can see it, but it has sequins here and there on it. See that one? It's lovely, Christy. I love these reds and uh, deep browns of this. This is gorgeous. So thank you very, very much for that. And um, I'm going to go. Ooh, ooh. Oh, shoot. I messed up. You know what? I think I might have messed up because hers are longer than mine. So it may be that I didn't put enough. Uh, I didn't put enough uh, <laughs> yardage. So I'm sorry, Christy. The ones that, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> that is mine. And I thank you so much. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So then we talked about an uh, episode or so ago. We talked about me um, having a plan to finish some things during Vlogmas. And without further ado, let me reveal the finished candy wreath. All done, all set. I added... Uh, yeah, I had wanted to add another little piece of candy, so I put a little licorice up there. And then I wanted to suspend the little gingerbread guy in the middle. And there he is. Turned out so cute. I love his little frosting with his uh, holly berry on the top. He turned out super cute. All set. So I forgot to bring the book over, but if you've been following me for a while, you, you've seen the book that I got it from. But the um, the gingerbread guy uh, is from Amigurumi um, Today, I think. Yeah, I'm a, Amigurumi Today. Um, I have the app on my phone, but you can go to the to them on the website, and this. A uh, little gingerbread guy was from that. So in the pattern, they had a uh, ornament hanging from there. But I decided that I wanted to put that little guy in there. So it's all done. So uh, next time you see me, I will bring out the next thing that I'm going to finish this month. And you know, like I said, he was just about finished. So yesterday I said I had no mail. Well, I actually did get some mail after I recorded. I cannot wait to show you guys what I got. I didn't even open it yet, but I got a feeling I know what it is because I can see who it came from. So, but first, I did get some buttons from AliExpress. I ordered these so long ago, but they came today. And when I bought these, I bought these with the idea of using it as flower centers. So when I crochet a flower to put one of these sparkly situations in the middle, is what I was thinking. So those came. But what I'm most excited about, be showing nobody stuff, is this. And I believe I know 100% what this is, but I could be wrong. Let me see. Um, but because I know who it's from, I think I know what it is. And I was so excited when I got this. 
Okay, guys, don't forget, this is Kim Simber, and I am still uh, running the uh, crochet along, the make along, the uh, uh, hashtag Cupcakes for Kim uh, <laughs> on my Facebook group. If you make a cupcake any way, shape, or form and post a picture on there, you will be put into a drawing for a surprise prize. So first, and I, I know this has something to do with that. This little bag box came from Laurel from the Dabbling Hook. Hey, Rel. And first I get a lovely card. And I'm just going to open it up. Like happy birthday. Oh, I wanted you to have a permanently calorie-free treat. Oh my god, I already know. I already know. I'm so excited. Oh, I didn't wait. Oh I did know. Look at what Rail sent me, guys. She you've seen the picture, but she actually sent me the Octo Cuppy Cake. Oh my gosh. Look at how good she is at faces. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at it. What the my god I absolutely just love this oh my gosh look at that and look she puts her little button at the bottom hold on a second. all right guys one of my, my one of my like I got a bunch my son came in he wants to get something and so let me finish up here but can you see how cute it is and I, what I was saying is she puts her button at the bottom of her octo hold on all right come say hi <laughs> Messing up my flow. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, here you go. So that's it. I just wanted to show you that I now am the proud owner of this little cupcake octo. And he she is the cutest, cutest, cutest ever. I love her. And I'm so excited to have her. And she will be also my a second or third work from home companion so i'm very excited about that all right oh my gosh it looks she had she had used the uh, happy birthday paper in the box so excited i love it i just i just love it i'm so excited thank you so much rail thank you so much everybody for encouraging me guys you are making this kim simber a very happy Kim Simber. So thank you so much for the lovely, lovely, lovely cuppy cake octo. I love it. Okay, guys, uh, that's going to be it. That's going to be all. And until we uh, meet again, guys, keep it crafty. I will see you in the next video or the next live. We shall see. Bye.